Kyle Seeger bobblehead night and the Mariners in town on a great evening to watch baseball. That's the setting here at Seattle at Safe Cove Field. Delighted to have you with us at a beautiful ballpark on a beautiful night. And we are ready for action. The A's and the Mariners and young Andrew Moore taking the mound here's third appearance tonight. Young man from North Eugene High School Oregon High School pitcher of the year is a sophomore and junior. 5A State Player of the Year as a senior. Attended Oregon State. Here's the lineup he'll face tonight. Joyce, Matt Joyce right there, but he leading off. Yandu Alonso and Ronnie Healy, both with 19 home runs in the third and fourth spots. Those are the two guys that can really hurt you here this tonight. Andrew Moore, as we have seen, will come right after you. Andrew Moore, two starts already, one and one with a 3.60. He's got 15 innings, but the most impressive part of all that is that he has yet to walk anybody. He's got eight strikeouts. He's got all four pitches. Defensively for the Seattle Mariners around the outfield Gamel Dyson and Hanniger in the infield Seager Sigura Cano Valencia Zanino behind the play Kyle Seager see if he can make a couple more plays like his bobblehead yes, that they're is. giving away here tonight. Andrew Moore in his last start he went eight innings. Followed that up with a seven inning game in his first out and gave up only five hits, three runs, three of those were earned. No walks and four strikeouts on 101 pitches. We are ready for action. Dave Sims, Dave Valley with you. Mike Blowers off today and tomorrow. Good crowd on hand. Aaron looks like we're going to be up around the 25, 28,000 range. That's good. Mariners last night ended a four game losing streak an eight game home losing streak and stopped the A's three game winning run. Here's Matt Joyce to lead it off one for two last night. And a first pitch strike from Andrew Moore. And he works quickly the fastest paced player or pitcher on the Mariners staff by far battling the sun out there is Mitch Hanniger. And it comes up with the plate. There's one down. Couldn't ask for better conditions. You got 79 degrees. Winds are calm. Blue sky. Gorgeous blue sky above. And that'll bring up Marcus Simeon. The shortstop in his third game back after a wrist injury. Kept him out for all but 11 games early on in the year. Home plate umpire tonight. C.B. Buckner. Fielding Culberth at first, Mark Carlson at second, and Chris Siegel at third. Val, during your long career, they checked down at first, and Culberth said he did go. This Moore kid works very quickly. Who'd you catch that worked as fast as he does? It was a guy named Scott Bankhead that pitched for the Mariners. Yeah, late 80s. In fact, they, their style is very similar. Scott Bankhead had a four seam fastball. That he would use in all four quadrants of the strike zone, like we're watching Andrew Moore work here tonight. There's something about that for your defense. It keeps them on their toes. They know he's going to get the ball, get the sign, and come right after it and throw the ball in the strike zone and get some more plays. So nope. it's the guy who shares the baseball. No, no chance to uh, have the mind wander. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Saw that change up right there. Started using his off speed stuff in his last outing a little bit more. This is a change up out of the strike zone. But after coming right after him, a great shot there by the Snoqualmie Casino Supermo. And as a catcher, too, Val, you're already, you know, you're in the game, you're locked in, you got the game plan and anything, but it keeps you on Razor's Edge, too, as a catcher, right? You know, you got to have your game plan because you don't want him out there looking at you like, hurry up, man, give me a sign. Swing and a miss by Yandra Alonzo. Sitting close to 700 swinging at first pitches on the season. Lonzo going to the All Star game. Named as one of the reserves, having his best year. And he pops this one up. Long run for Gamble going out. Seeger, somebody. It's going to be Gamble. Nine pitches for Andrew Moore. A terrific beginning to this evening of baseball here in Seattle. The Mariners coming to bat.
36 years old. Chris Smith out of Apple Valley, California, same town to produce Jason Vargas of the Kansas City Royals. Making his first big league start here tonight. Here's the lineup he'll face. Gene Segura at the top of the lineup hitting 352, followed by Ben, ben Gamble at 328. But the star of that lineup here tonight is the guy that shined last night with five RBIs and home run number 300. Nelson Cruz just under 300 at 297. Chris Smith, here's a look at his minor league numbers. This year, a 316 ERA, 4 and 3 record, in over 15 games. The opponent's hitting 265 at AAA Nashville. What a tribute to this young man for hanging around and hanging in. Here's first pitch to Gene Segura. Ball one. Gene won for four last night. Smith, fourth round pick back in 0 2 out of the University of California at Riverside. In terms of major league games, this will be his 64th, but his first as a starter. 1 1 to Gene. 2 and 1. Chris Smith features three pitches a fastball, slider, and a changeup. That last one that you just saw right there was that changeup. So, girl, swinging a hot bat over the last four games. These numbers are outstanding. 11. For 18. Still needs a few more plate appearances to qualify that leaderboard. Ben Gamble is right there. He's fourth in the American League in batting. 2 2 pitch. Put in play. Slow roller. Third baseman just got him. Nice play, Matt Chapman. Here's a look at the defensive lineup for the Athletics. Out in the outfield, Davis, Brugman, and Joyce in the infield. Alonzo, Lowry, Simeon, and Chapman. Simeon is a guy that started off as a shortstop with the Oakland A's. He's made some great strides defensively. Made quite a few in the past. Has only one this year, albeit having spent some time on the disabled list. Well, here's Ben Campbell. One for four last night. He's four for 18 on this homestand. Fourth leading hitter in the American League starting today behind Altuve, Ramirez, and Judge. What a shot in the arm he has been being able to put him in that number two spot in the lineup. Setting the table for the big guys, Robbie Cano and Nelson Cruz. Been very consistent. What chase in there, ball and two strikes. Great win for the Mariners last night, seven to two. James Paxton stellar. Seven innings of two hit ball, two runs, three walks, and nine strikeouts. Matched his season best in K's last night. His career best is 10. Put it in play, Chapman. Have to hurry again. Gamble digging down the line, and they just get him two down. Check this out. The oldest gentleman to make their first start since 1956. Chris Smith at 36, Jason Lane, Troy Percival, Dan Boone, Diomedes Olivo at 43. Wow. And Pat Scandalbury at age 38. Well, I'd like to. Troy Percival, I don't remember him starting. He was a great closer oh. for the Angels for a long time. 98, 99, catcher. 100. He could throw it. Oh, yeah. Here's Robinson Cano going to his eighth All-Star game. One for three in last night's game. Chris Davis, as you may have noticed, that was a fastball at 86 miles an hour. He is not a flamethrower. Way inside to Robbie. Ball and, two. Ball and one strike as we look at Robbie Cano, one for two career against Smith. Good fool there. A change up with good movement. It's a full circle change, which means that he's holding the baseball as if you're going to say okay to somebody. That baseball is resting in the last three fingers mm. on your hand.
What kind of movement is he generally going to get out of that if he's right if he's throwing that correctly. So throw it to Robbie it's going to fade down and away from Robinson Cano. Two and two in the middle infielders headed towards the dugout. C.B. Butler said no two and two. Nelson Cruz on deck. Way outside ball three. Special day for season ticket holders here at Safeco Field. They came into the ballpark at about 340, had a chance to take pictures of themselves and and or get autographs. Strike three called. That'll do it. Chris Smith, good start for him. Gets a K. It's first inning of work as a starter in his major league career. CHI Franciscan Health, the Mariners' official partners in health. Learn to stay Northwest healthy at nwhealthy.org. Buy steel. To find your local steel dealer, visit steeldealers.com. And buy Safeco Insurance. Find a local agent at safeco.com. Do more. Great scenery down at Crater Lake, Oregon. We have flown over this many a time on our trip south, particularly headed to Oakland and down to Anaheim. Some great scenery before they get up into the clouds. Just beautiful. Here's Ryan Healy leading it off. First pitch strike from Andrew Moore. Went one, two, three in the first. Healy 0 for 3 last night. One of the top home run hitters in the American League. He's got 19 here in Alonzo. Tied for 10th in the league. They got the shift on and he smokes one right between Robbie and Segura. First hit of the night. Clean single. Moore comes right back with a fastball well located down and away. This ball gets hit right in the seam between Segura and Cano over on the shortstop side. Here's Jed Lowry switch inning second baseman. Veteran performer, his second tour of duty with the Athletics. Shift on for him to the right side, and this one hit to right field. Backing up is Hanniger, just shy of the track. Makes the play, one out. Andrew Moore has thrown five first pitch strikes so far this evening. That last one, pitch he probably got away with. That's why Jed Lowry is shaking his head, a little hanging curveball. But kept him off balance just enough to get underneath it. Here's Bruce Maxwell came into last night's game, eighth inning pinch hitter, grounded out the first night before, though. 
did some damage with a solo home run in the fifth in the A7-4 win. Now the first pitch strike now. Yeah, I don't love it. Now as this game starts to unfold, but keep an eye on how Andrew Moore is using all four quadrants of the strike zone. Not afraid to pitch up in the zone, get guys to swing that pitch right across the top of the letters. There's an excellent changeup right there. We saw in his last start, he used his secondary pitches quite a bit more, and his ground ball total went from 27% up to 41%. He's way ahead here, 0 and 2. Is he, is he, you know, trying to get it across the top? And Mike Zanino looking to get hot again. Great month of June. Been struggling lately, but doing a very solid job behind the plate. Infield double play depth here for Maxwell. The 0 2 pitch. Buried there by Mike. So that's some Scott services, Val. You can relate to this because you've experienced it. But the last few days for Mike, he has taken so many pitches off that mask. At what point do you want to say, hey, I might need a blow or <laughs> somebody give me a break? I mean, and some shots too. I mean, to get one or two in an inning, and I mean, it's been amazing. He kind of comes with the territory when you're behind the dish right there. Mike does such a good job of blocking balls in the dirt. But the foul tips and there's really things. nothing you can do about them. You know whether it's coming back at you and hitting different parts of your body. Better have a strong neck right or yeah. <laughs> I, I just thought of that knock your block off. Maybe that yeah, 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 yeah. rock them soccer the robots. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you feel like sometimes. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's what I. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, and you can also go a week, a couple of weeks, nothing happened. But in the last week or so, it seems like Mike's been teed up a good 10, 12 times. Yeah, it kind of, when it rains, it pours. You start getting them off your toes, off your inner thighs, off your shoulders, off your wrists. Here's a 3 2 pitch. Runner holds, pitch swung on, base hit. Hanniger will get it back in. So one out and our athletics have two board. The Mariners in Boeing. They give a tip of the cap to our youngest fans. But salute the kids day tomorrow at 110. All kids 14 and under. They're going to get a T-shirt. The Mariner All-Star Nelson Cruz and they're invited to run around the bases after the game. Go to Mariners.com for your tickets. Was Matt Chapman, the third baseman, way out in front. Matt 0 for 3 in last night's game. And 0 for 3 in game number one. Recent call up. Long hold by Moore. Drops in a strike. Chapman was at Triple A Nashville and brought up here to the big club on June 15th, but it has been a struggle. 0 2. Seeger taking a look. Moore could use a double play ball right now. A couple of hits here in this inning. Runners at first and second. Let's see where he likes to go here. 0 and 2 with Chapman, as you mentioned, the guy that's been struggling. Looks like they're going to come on inside. But he did hit 16 home runs at a PCL early on. And Zanino holds on to the foul tip. Two down here in the second. Second strikeout for Moore. This is what you like about Andrew Moore. He's able to locate the pitches. He's hitting that target squarely. Mike Zanino setting up and in right across the top of the strike zone. Hits his spot and gets a strikeout. 
Brings up Jacob Brugman. He's in center field tonight. Slaps this one the other way. That's going to be good enough for a run. Here comes Healy. He's going to score. And it's 1 0. Like a drop shot, like he was at Wimbledon. Back spin and all. This is a good pitch located in on his hands, actually off of the plate. But he just fights it off and get, dumps it out there into the outfield grass. No way for Ben Gamble to come in and have a play at home plate. Right the ball kind of checked up. Sure did. Got to get my wedge work to check up <laughs> like that. RBI for Brugman. His eighth. Here's Rajay Davis. 0 for 2 last night. Batting ninth tonight. Let off last evening. And he has got tremendous speed. Scored from first. Last night on the Simeon double to left. They just had that memorable home run off of Chapman in the World Series last year. Yep, for Cleveland. That looked like that was going to be one of the great moments in Cleveland history. Twelfth year in the big leagues for Rajay, 36 years old. Center field. Dyson takes care of it. That'll do it. A run on three hits. No errors, two left. When we come back, Nelson Cruz will lead off with the Mariners. Start for Chris Smith and his family enjoyed this moment right here as Robinson Cano took a cold third strike and the family yep they enjoyed it yeah, that's something to remember for sure Chris Smith mentioned out of Apple Valley California same town to produce Jason Vargas the man of the hour last night, Mr. Nelson Cruz, first pitch. Nelly is one for two. Having seen Smith before, 300 home runs down his fantastic big league career, Nelson Cruz. And it was I get such a tickle. Curtain call. Now you got to go out and wave to the fans. I, that is without question the first curtain call this season. <laughs> Maybe the first one in a while. Probably since Junior was here. Well deserved though. Yes indeed. Two balls one strike. It's 
Smith, you can see he's just trying to stay away from Nelson Cruz. He was watching last night's game. <laughs> Nelly with that big night, three for four. That was five so RBIs. Oh man, hit the ball hard pretty much every time. Nelly asking for a new baseball. That ball bounced twice. 3 1 pitch. Finished strike. Hundred three home runs as a Mariner. The 3 2. So you're going to miss Gaddy. And he strikes out two of the big boys, Cano and Cruz. Through six pitches, all of them fastballs at 86 miles an hour. I have a feeling some of the Mariners are wondering if that's a fastball or is it a changeup? I got a feeling if you were down on the bench watching this, that you'd be conducting those same queries like, what the heck? It seems like everyone else in the game is throwing 100. Right? Mid 90s, upper 90s. And Smith has been very consistent right at 86 miles an hour. That one topped out at 87. There's Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger bobblehead night. Bobblehead's always a major attraction here in Seattle. Two sacrifice flies last night for Kyle. 0 for 2. Looking for a second hit on this homestand. Just 1 for 12. Mariners on the homestand coming into tonight's game. Collective 259, six homers and 20 runs batted in, and the ERA just under five. Two on the cop. There's that changeup right there at 76 miles an hour. Let's get get what he wanted. Got the baseball and the Kyle Seeger bobblehead. That's a night. Let's see if 15 can go large here. Hit something out for him. I like the bobbleheads that are a little bit different, right? Yeah. That, that one's definitely different. That was well executed. Two two to Seeger. And a changeup sent into right field for base hit, the first Mariner knock of the night. Kyle does a nice job of staying back on this pitch. Second consecutive changeup from Smith. He's still just a tad out front. You can see that ball hitting towards the end of the bat. But one for one on his bobblehead night. Take it. So Seeger's aboard. One out brings up Danny Valencia. On a good run, Mr. Valencia. 33 games, his last 33 games, hitting at 322, but five doubles and five home runs. That's dating back to May 31st. Sager not a base running threat. 1 0 pitch. Takes for strike. How much of an adjustment is it seeing it? I mean, you're reading the scouting report. This guy's not only bringing tops 86. Now you get up there seeing it. And he's, you know, cut, darting it. Yeah, he's pretty much a, a almost a 50-50 mix right now. Fastball to changeup. And for the hitters right now, right out in center field, just the outfield wall. You still have a little bit of that sunshine hitting. So I'm guessing there might be some issues with the the visibility That's of that baseball coming off the eye, the batter's eye. Yeah. Dead center field. 2 1 to Valencia. Good rip at it. 2 and 2. As guys come back into the dugout, I could. Almost here, Edgar Martinez probably telling him, hey, this with this guy, you got to take opposite gap. Look right-handed hitter, hit the ball to right center field, let that ball travel just a little bit more. 
See if he can make it happen here 2 2. Pulls it. Simeon and they get the lead runner. Nice play. Out number two. Valencia gets out in front, hits that ball right off the end of the bat. Under the glove of Chapman, but Simeon stays with it. He gets Kyle Seeger over at second base. For a second, it almost looked like Lowry came off that bag a little bit too early, but that foot was on the bag when he received the ball. Here's Mitch Hanniger got up to that great start. Then on to the DL and since June 11th inning just 222 three homers and seven runs batted in. But you can see the progress made get comfortable is pretty comfortable he's hit the ball hard a few times down in Anaheim. Got a home run here two nights ago. That was a rifle foul. He's been hitting the ball hard too. Yes, indeed. Last couple of games, four for eight. Hitting the ball hard, not having a lot of success. Swinging the bat well against Oakland, though, hitting 391 with home run and two RBIs on the season. Two outs with Valencia at first. He's lead on a two out RBI single to left by center fielder Jacob Brugman. Ground ball to Simeon. Goes short way to Lowry and that'll do it. For the Mariners they leave a runner on and we go to the third. He's lead at one nothing. Pitching in his third appearance here with the big league. And so far, a couple of strikeouts. He's given up an RBI single to Brugman. But as poised as ever, Val. Yeah, he has picked up right where he left off. 28 pitches, 21 of them for strikes. And on the first pitch strikes to the Oakland Athletics, all nine first pitch strikes. Not a bad start. Not at all. Confident young man, too. Fun to talk to. Third inning. Top of the order for the Athletics, Matt Joyce, Marcus Simeon, and Yander Alonso. The thing about it too, Dave, is, is he's not just throwing first pitch strikes with his fastball. He's getting his curveball over. We've seen him use his changeup for a strike. So tag. Hanging up. Taking charge. Dyson. One down. 
one way here in the third MLB TV every night every device watch all out of market regular season games live plus get a free subscription to at bat premium the number one app for live baseball blackout and other restrictions apply so visit MLB.tv for details second time through the order Marcus Simeon struck out his first time. Don't see too many guys Val coming dead overhand too like this kid. Yeah, I was trying to remember who he reminds me of. Remember Mike Messina's delivery? Sure. Ground ball, Segura. And going back even further now that you mentioned Messina. And you might have been around, but Jim Bouton came over the top like that too. Knuckleballer with the Yankees yeah, early yeah. 60, 63, 4, 5, 6. He's a little minute. bit before my time. Yeah. So was Lincoln. <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember Jim Bowden growing up a Yankee fan. Right. Played out here Channel in the Northwest in League. New York. Yep. Knuckleball, ball four, Seattle Pilots. But seriously, you can count on your hand, right? Here's Alonzo. Does he swing at first pitch? No. How many guys have you in your days come straight over the top like yeah, that? Yeah, not many. Most guys are starting to drop down. Seems like it's a little bit easier on the shoulder. Mike Messina, how'd you do against them? Good, great pitcher. Yeah, probably, probably not very good. <laughs> ah, the good years. There's Alonzo, and he drives this one, and that ball's gone. Home run number 20. Yonder Alonzo, best year of his career. Got it on a 1-1 pitch. It really is a breakout year for. The left hander mm -hmm. first baseman number 20. And, and, you know, I was talking to Marcus Simeon before the game and you know Lonzo's the big guy. He's using that as lower half and driving off harder this year. Look at that the drive off the back foot. Before. He was. He said he was leaning he was sort of listing out but now driving straight through the box. He's got that leg kick too that he's starting to implement in that swing. There's no question about that. Contact there is Healy trying to go large. Twenty home runs under Alonzo. Up the middle, Cano waiting for it. So Yonder Alonzo, who never hit more than nine home runs in a season. His previous days in the big leagues has hit his 20th and the A's have a 2 nothing lead. In game three of this four game set, Kyle Seeger bobblehead night. 
kids enjoying that. And tomorrow, wrap up this series and wrap up the first half. Daniel Gossett goes against the King. Felix Hernandez. Felix, career against Oakland, 23 and 9 with a 2.68 ERA. Off the glove, fair ball. Dyson, extra bases here. He's got two for sure, and he'll stop right there. Lead off double. A bullet off the bat of Gerard Dyson, his second hit of the homestand, and his 13th double. Dyson jumps on his first offering from Smith. He wasted no time right here. That ball is just barreled up. It hit, ends up hitting the the wall right here just stops. Comes out enough where it is still in play mm. and still spinning. Wow. Yes, indeed. He got a double. Let's see what Mike Zanino can do here. Mike with 31 runs batted in month of June. But when you go back of June 20th, he's cooled off. So buck 28 pace three homers and six runs batted in. He's got service. Edgar Martinez trying to get him back to where he was. Missing him some fastballs is what Scott was talking about earlier today. You know when every time you change your swing you change some of your mechanics it's going to take time. You're going to have some periods where it's all going to kind of lock in and then you're going to lose a little bit of that rhythm and timing up there. But overall I, I, I really like what they're doing with his mechanics with his approach. It's this from the left field right at Rajay Davis. There's one away. Cheer on the team then round your way to home with the Sound Transit Day Pass. Learn more at SoundTransit.org. They're trying to sustain it. And again, carrying a heavy load of being a catcher. It makes it a little bit more difficult, but you know, he, he's he's also using that leg kick that we were talking about, Yonder Alonso right. being a part of it, generating a little bit more power. But Zanino has plenty of power, but the approach of him hitting that ball more towards the big part of the yard, I think, is really helping him put the ball in play more often than we saw in the past. Well, Dyson's got to be pleased because he has Chris Smith's attention. He revels in that. Got the pitcher paying more attention to him than the batter. Segura at the plate, ball one. Dyson with 20 stolen bases, tied with Elvis Andrews. Second to Cameron Maben of the Angels with 25. Lowry trying to keep him close to second baseman. One to one to Dyson. Uh, to Segura, beg your pardon, who grounded out to third. So far, Smith has just been living at the bottom of that strike zone. Not having made many mistakes other than that one to Dyson up in the zone. See what gives here with Segura. 11 hits on this homestand. Fine drive left field. Davis can't get it. Dyson will walk home. Mariners on the board. RBI double team Segura. 2 1 Oakland here in the third. Singed to the gap in left center field. Gene Segura with his 15th double. Gene Segura can just hit. He's one of those guys that has the ability to put the big part of the ball of the barrel on the baseball. This is a changeup down, probably out of the strike zone. This ball was scorched out there into left center field. I think Rajay Davis thought he had a beat on it the whole way, but that ball just continued to carry. And Davis, as you know, is a plus, even at 36, is an extremely good runner. 
Could not get a glove. Here's Gamble up the middle. Top spin through. Coming around Segura. He's going to score. And the Mariners have tied it up at 2 2. Two best hitters on the ball club, Segura and Gamble for average. And they get the job done right here. Didn't take long. Starting to see the Mariners a little bit more aggressive here against Smith. This ball hit off the end of the bat. But ends up finding that hole in between Lowry and Simeon up the middle. Ben Gamble, his fifth hit on the homestand. Frank brings up Robbie Cano. Called out on strikes his first time. Nelly struck out swinging his first time. See what develops here second time through. Robbie doesn't like that call right there. Thinking that it was a little bit down out of the strike zone. Eighth All Star game coming up, fifth for Nelson Cruz. Infield straight up, the 0 1. Lowry get the front end, and Simeon, they get the back end, and that'll do it. But the good news the Mariners get RBIs from Segura and Gamble and tie this game up at 2 2. Sports is brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. For all Toyota offers, go to buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. And by Geico, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Crater Lake, 1,949 feet, the deepest in the world. It's beautiful scenery there. I'm guessing that's pretty cold water right there. Uh, I'm, I'm with you. Robbie, what's the what's the, the, the temperature? <laughs> we'll get that. We'll look I know it up. it's deep. Well, the Mariners have tied it up for Andrew Moore. Two runs, four hits for Oakland. Two runs, four hits for the Mariners. And first pitch strike to Jed Lowry. Lowry, Maxwell, and Chapman, five, six, and seven in the order. Lowry, first time up, fly it out to right. Andrew started him off in that first at bat with a curveball, hung a little bit, just missed it as he flew out to right. This time runs the two fastballs on the inside part of the plate. Hit 0 and 2. Up and in. Ball and two strikes. Shipped on for Larry time granted. One two pitch. 
Two balls, two strikes. Shift on for Lowry. And Seeger aggressively plays that short hop. He does it beautifully. One away. Nice play by Kyle. We take a look at the Mariners calendar brought to you by Mattress Firm. Wrap up the first half of the season. Tomorrow's going to be game number 90 for the Mariners. A few days off. Go to Chicago for three, Houston for three, and then the I 95 homestand with the Yankees, Red Sox, and the Mets coming to town closing out July. First pitch strike again, this time to Bruce Maxwell. 3 2 pitch, first time up in the second. Single to right. One to one. Gonna like his approach. Boys, I'm coming right at you. Andrew Moore, first team all pack 12 in 2015. Took a little off of that and missed. Three and one record with Tacoma with a 306 ERA for more for his caller. Work the full count here. On deck is Matt Chapman, the third baseman. Back up this way. Good changeup right there. He just does such a good job of keeping the hitters off balance. He's got 48 pitches so far, 35 have been for strikes. And he's using all of them. Two games, opponents hitting 204 against Andrew Moore coming into tonight's contest. And that's the first walk of his the big year. league career. How about that? One out, one on here. Hey everybody, after tomorrow's 110 game against these athletics, all youngsters, you're invited down on the field to run around the bases. It's all thanks to Keith Banks Run Around the Bases Day. Log on to Mariners.com for tickets. There's Chapman struck out. Swing and a miss. Sixteen for sixteen. Those first pitch strikes, pretty amazing. What a score on that! Brugman, a second inning RBI, third inning RBI, home run by Alonzo for the two Athletics runs. One to one to count. Here's the one one for more. And fouled into Zanino's glove. That's how he struck out first time. See if we can put him away here. One and two. One out, one on. Outside. Last year for Moore, combined 12 and 4 record at 265 ERA. Split time between High Bakersfield and Double A Jackson. And was named the Jamie Moyer Minor League Pitcher of the Year by the Mariners. The 2 2 pitch. Just above our high home camera location to our right. Stay safe up there. Hey! Scott went to hang. <laughs> now 
And there's a double play depth up the middle with Segura and Cano. 2 2 pitch. Laid off it counts run full back to back full counts. I have more just three full ball uh, full count pitches uh, to deal with here tonight. And back to back walks first two of his big league career. Yeah, that time he went after him with a slider. Looked like it might have caught the top of the strike zone, but ends up getting called a ball by C.B. Buckner. Well, Mel Stoudemire Jr. Might see something and also just to break up this bad run right here. Two men on, one out. Jacob Brugman coming to the dish. And be careful here. He's four for his last eight over his last three games. Which is a big turnaround because he had been seven for 45 in his previous 15. Got an RBI single in the second. Seeger playing deep at third. Segura shading up the middle. First pitch. But. And it goes foul. Seeger was in a different zip code. He tried to take advantage of it. That's what thing. Melvin. Manager. 55 years old in the. Opener picked up career win number 500. First gig as a manager in the major leagues with the Mariners. The one. It's a good pitch. That might be the best curveball we've seen from Moore here tonight. He's been mostly going fastball, slider, and changeup. That one with a little bit more of a 12 to 6 movement. So more in charge right now in front of Bregman 0 and 2. Flipped it Seager. Can he get a double up? No sir. But Quick reaction by Kyle Seager right here. Snags the line drive and goes straight over to first base. Knows that he doesn't have a play over at second. Catches a break it. The throw hit the runner right between the legs. God was just saying, hey, I had some good sinking on that. <laughs> good sinking action. Here's Rajay Davis. Flat out to right. Two down, two on. Goes the other way. Hanniger, the long run. Can he get it? Yeah, he did. Mitch Hanniger with a gorgeous running catch saves a couple of runs here at Safe Cold Field. Beautifully done by the rookie right fielder. Keeps this a 2 2 ball game.
talked about athleticism in the outfield as we check out our Big Fish Casino Big Catch, and here is a sterling example. It, it, it plays like this we haven't seen here in quite a while over the years, but with the great speed, the athleticism that is out there, Mitch Haniger does a perfect timing, perfect jump. That's just a beautiful thing to watch. Wow. The boys at Lincoln Center and ballet called and said they like that move. That was a beautiful extension. All right. Go the Mariners can get the lead now. They were down one nothing and then two nothing tied it up in the home third. There's Nelson Cruz. Career one for two against Chris Smith. Smith pitched against the Mariners last August 14th. And last September 10th at, out of the bullpen. It's his first major league start this evening. There his last song on September 10th. He went two and two thirds and hit and gave up a run. High fly ball center field staying in the yard. Catch made by Brugman. I think he just got away with that pitch right there. Nelly just gets underneath it. Bring up Kyle Seeger. Two RBIs last night. Got his total to 47. Seeger third on the ball club in that category. Nelly leads the league with 68. Robbie has 60. And then Kyle with 47, third on the ball club. Five ball deep to right. Got some carry on the track, and there to make the catch is Matt Joyce right at the 380. That's back to back pitches right there. Chris Smith gets away with some mistakes up and out over the plate. First to Nelly Cruz, and then this pitch right here. That ball is just belt high, center cut. I think Kyle realized he got. Under it just enough. Yep, didn't have the sound either. Here's Danny Valencia. Reached on a fielder's choice. Valencia comes into tonight's game with outstanding numbers against his former team, the Athletics. 326, four homers, and 13 runs batted in in 26 games against the A's. Can't say it enough to Danny's done a real good job playing at first base. Played some outfield, played a lot of third. And they just look good at first. One to one is count two out, nobody on. Two and one. Infield straight up, outfield, maybe a step towards left for Danny. 2 1. He's got a good count here, 3 and 1. Smith is not giving in to many of the Mariner hitters here this evening. Three balls, one strike. Line drive down the line. It is a foul ball. Chris Siegel, third base umpire, had a good look at it. Smith comes in with a little two seamer, breaks the bat of Valencia. And that ball fouled just by about a foot and a half out there, right down the left field line. New bat, new pine tar. Sorry, I had to spray. It's different or new since you were playing, right? No, they had it back oh, then. They did? Yeah, I, I remember even using it when I was a, a kid. Okay. I think Willie Mays might have been an endorser of it. That's not bad. It's good enough for Willie. It's good enough for me. 3 2 pitch. Look out. Oh, whoa, look at this. 
face hit and had so much spin on it he couldn't pick it up. He had a piece of the bat go out past third. Then he just kept on chugging. He's got a two out base hit. Yeah, Smith comes after the ball. Instead of using his glove, he starts to reach with his bare hand. Never a good idea when you're having to move that far off the mound. Look at the spin on ball that ball. Ball spinning. Never does get it in the glove mm. or in the hand. They give him an E1. I have a feeling he might hear some from, from some of his teammates about that one. Yeah. There's Mitch Hanniger. Look where the piece of bat goes down the third base line. And the ball hit right off the end. Splits that bat. Oof. So one at bat, it, he loses two weapons up at the plate. But he got a knock. Yeah, he did. He always trade a broken bat well, for they a base gave hit. Him, I thought I gave him the base hit. They gave him an error. Really? Yeah. The official scorer wins. 0 oh, 2 to Mitch. Third inning, Mariners tied it up. RBI double by Segura. Gamble followed with an RBI single. And Valencia will move up. A wild pitch thrown by starter Chris Smith. What a journey this guy is taking on. He was in the minor leagues 2002 to 2008. Boston, 12 games in 08, 09, 35 with Milwaukee, three games in the next year, then with the Mariners Triple A club in 2011. Independent ball, then the San Diego organization for two years, and now Oakland. Went reaching for it. Hanging up is the right fielder coming in to come get it, and that's Matt Joyce, and that'll do it for the Mariners. No runs, no hits, one error, and one man left to the fifth. We go in a 2 2 game. Three of a four game set. Tomorrow we'll wrap up the first half of the season. Hey, we'd like to uh, welcome MTA Communications subscribers from South Central Alaska. Thank you for rooting on the Seattle Mariners and all of us here at Root Sports and the Mariners appreciate your support. Dave Sims and Dave Valley with you. Top of the fifth in a 2 2 ball game. You have rookie Andrew Moore going against a long time. Minor leaguer Chris Smith gets beautiful pictures here in Seattle. 
Matt Joyce top of the order third time through now. Man is fly to right fly to center. Two two game and it stayed that way because of a spectacular running catch into the right field corner by Mitch Hanniger with runners at first and second that ended the fourth. So Moore, who didn't walk anybody first two games he went back to back walks in the fourth and now he's behind here three and oh. Starting to see some movement down there in the Mariner pen. Back with a strike. More now with 64 pitches, 43 of those for strikes. Swing and a miss. Right now, no one throwing in the Mariner pen. The boys are just getting up here in the fifth. Starting a routine to be ready at a moment's notice. 3 2 pitch. Fouled off. Three two pitch swung on and popped up. Playable. Here comes Valencia. And there's one down. Bill Kruger joins us right now. And Billy Decay, what are you seeing so far with uh, young Mr. Moore? Wow, I couldn't be more impressed. It's the third time I've seen him. Uh, he's so far ahead of uh, where he should be from his age and experience. Uh, incredible 69 straight hitters before he walked his first hitter in the big leagues. He was 18 in a row first pitch strike in this game. We've seen him three times. He's constantly working ahead. He's got a four pitch complement. He uses all parts of the strike zone. He pitches in. And I think his best pitch, he's still not using it enough, and that's his changeup. So uh, I, I'm just thrilled watching him. Bill, you mentioned uh, not using his changeup a little bit more in his, in his second start. Seemed like he was using his secondary pitches a little bit more than he is tonight. It seems like, you know, when they, and I talked to him about this, that they really made him work on his breaking ball. The second, uh, oh, I don't know how many starts in AAA. When he got up to AAA, he wanted him to improve it. And he came up, and it seems like they're calling the breaking ball a lot, and it's good because he's kind of able to hang on to his changeup a little bit longer. But I think, I think his changeup so much better pitch for him. Gamble at the wall, can't get it. It's gone. A home run. Home run, Marcus Simeon. Three-two Athletics here in the fifth with one out. Gamble had it measured beautifully and came up empty. Mm. Here's Simeon. He got just threw his hands at it, Val. Yeah, the ball just continued to carry right here. Ooh. Ben Gamble just barely gets his glove, yeah. the tip of his yeah, glove on good. it. Got it on a 2-1 pitch. Home run for Simeon, his first. Again, he's missed a lot of time. But they screw in his wrist. Bill Kruger still with us, and kids got to weather this storm here. Just down by a run, Bill. It's about bouncing back after a home run like that one, right, Bill? Yeah, I think I think he, he's a, he's he's aware. I mean, it was a high changeup. It wasn't a very good pitch. I think he turns the page. Uh, this guy is working ahead. He doesn't seem to something. Nothing's nothing's really phasing him. And uh, we saw, you know, his attitude right out of the shoot the first game that he pitched when he got ahead of Cabrera and knocked him off the plate. Uh, he's not afraid. He's learning. He's learning the sequencing. He's learning hitters. Uh, and I, I just think he's way ahead of the game, and I think he turned the page already. All right, Bill, thanks so much. We'll hear from you and Brad on Mariners post game, presented by Alaska Airlines, coming up a little later. Alonzo in a two-out homer in the third. So two home runs given up by Moore tonight. 2 2 pitch. Counts run full. Athletics come in with a record of 38 49. Baron is at 42 and 46. Here's the payoff. That's lifted to short right center field. And going back to get it is Segura. Makes the play today.
the two away. That's going to bring up Ryan Healy. One for two tonight. Base hit the center. Run scored in the second. And a ground out to Cano in the third inning. Cano joins Segura and Seeger on the left side of the infield. First pitch strike. Pretty thematic, huh, Val? Yeah, the thing I like about it, though, is he's not just using his fastball to establish strike one. That last one was a slider. Oh, that hurt. The ball and fastball gets away a little bit from Andrew Moore right here. He's trying to come up and in. Slider first pitch this time. He's trying to get up in that upper quadrant. Ball gets away and looks like he gets him right on the hand. First batter that Andrew Moore has hit. A little more on the wrist right there. Brings up Jed Lowry 0 for 2 fly to right and the ground out to third. Should be an easy play for Hanniger. It is, and that'll do it for the Athletics. Marcus Simeon's home run, his first of the year, puts the A's on top three to two. Kyle Seeger bobblehead night in Safe Go Field here in Seattle. Time now for our Geico This State History. Take you back to 41. Ted Williams, a three run walk off home run in the All Star game. American League defeats the National League 7 5. That was at Briggs Stadium in Detroit. And they hit it off of Claude Passo. You ever go back and look at the, go to YouTube and call that up on the newsreel. It's a classic Ted Williams swing, too. He got a pitch middle in, and boy, did he turn on it. He had incredible torque, right? Yeah, right? Incredible that, flexibility. Exactly. Gerard Dyson went off the third, a bullet double off the glove of Alonzo down the right field line. Flip back our way. Dyson Zanino and Segura 8 9 and 1 coming up against Chris Smith. This is finishing up the second time through against Smith. Your catcher's eyes. What are they telling you about Smith now as we play here in the fifth? Well, the one thing he's he's been working down in the strike zone. Very consistent. Been most throwing mostly his 86 mile an hour fastball and change up to keep the Mariners off balance. Look at this, Dyson rides one high, deep right field, get it up, baby, and go! Tie ball game at 3 3, Gerard Dyson with a home run, his fifth.
RBI number 22, and he's having a great night. A double and a home run, and we get a new ball game. Boy, Gerard Dyson puts a charge into this fastball. We saw that first at bat, it was center cut. Take a look at this pitch. Bell tied right down Broadway, and Dyson does not miss this one. Boy, he knew it right off the yes, bat. Yes, he did. That was nice. Here's Mike Zanino. Mike lined out to left his first time. Gerard Dyson, five home runs, career best, his previous best. He had hit two in 2015 and in 13. Good for him. 101 to Mike Zanino. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss for Dyson. That's his second home run here at Safeco Field. 101 mile an hour exit velocity covering 391 feet. Way outside. That home run, number seven on the homestand for the Mariners as a team. Shout out the fireworks on the home run and that cloud of smoke now wafting towards the right field foul pole. 2 2. Mike went fishing here. Maxwell throws to Alonzo to complete it. Third strikeout for Smith. One away. Now the third time through for Seattle. Gene Segura, RBI double. Left center field. Rajay Davis could not get it. Gene got a change up down and out over the plate. And he shoots this one right center field. Another hit for Gene. Gene the hit machine. He's in the second with another double. Two tonight, 16 on the season. Two for three tonight, 13 for 21 in five games on this homestand. We've really seen Gene make a, a change in his approach to Smith here tonight after that first at bat. He was a little bit out front this time. He started to drive the ball back through the middle. This pitch is down and away and just hits it where it's pitched. As good as anybody going gap to gap. Boy, he's fun to watch. Ben Gamble came up big last time up. RBI single to center. Ball one. Segura last year with Arizona led the National League with 203 hits. Segura is averaging a one and a half hits per ball game. That's a fourth highest average in Mariners history. Intro has the other three. Outstanding numbers in that category. One on one to gamble. When he came over, you knew that he could hit, right? He led the National sure. League in hits last year. We get to watch it now every day. And, and, when, and that's when you really learn to appreciate guys. Bingo. Good hitters. The way he can change his approach from at bat to at bat to make those adjustments. And I think you recognize this sometimes pitch to pitch, right? Yeah, I mean to, to get 200 hits in a season, that's that's just a lot of knocks. Right now he's averaging about one and a half hits mm -hmm. per game, and he's been on the DL twice. This is only his 59th game, and this, this his 59th in game 89 for the team. So you can only imagine 
He had played a lot of those 30 games, right? To, to be where he would be at right now. Ben's got a good count here, three and one. Robbie Cano's on deck, Cruz after him. Three one pitch. All four, a couple of men aboard for Robinson Cano. Walk issued by Chris Smith. That's his first tonight. He's had a wild pitch. Before the first swing, make your picks for the T-Mobile Home Run Derby Bracket Challenge with a little luck. You and three friends may be going to the 2017 World Series thanks to T-Mobile. Make your picks at MLB.com slash bracket challenge. So Dave, we're talking about Gene Segura. I got to tell you a little uh, personal story that just happened recently. What do you got? So uh, I'm in my garage the other day, kind of just doing some things in there, and mm -hmm. got the garage door open. All of a sudden, I heard this car come flying, like very fast through my little semi-circular driveway. So I come walking out, and I'm like, I got my hands up, like, what's going on out here? And all of a sudden, there was another car that I was about ready to pull into the, my driveway, and it stopped, and it backed up, and then it pulled out in front of the house and stops. Robbie takes a strike. So I'm looking at the car like what is going on all of a sudden the window rolls down and it's Gene Segura. I'm like what are you doing. <laughs> <laughs> they got lost or something and just happened to be passing by. I mean, what, what a... <laughs> Probably looking to make something happen here give the Mariners the lead. For the first time tonight. So far this evening, Rabbi struck out look, uh, looking and hit into a double play. One on one. Inning started with Giraffe Dyson homer. Zanino struck out. Segura doubled to right center. Gamble walked. And a tremendous opportunity right now for the Mariners. Smith really trying to stay away from Robinson Cano. On one pitch. Hammered. Right field. And it's going to take Joyce back to the track. Tagging is Segura. Thing jumped off the bat and died. Didn't get all of it. It looked like a home run swing for Cano. He's looking out there like, what happened? Looking at the uh, video. Thing exploded off his bat. Smith comes after him with a changeup. Take away just a little bit too far off the end of the bat. Mm. Robbie pauses for a moment. Thought he might have had something. I certainly did. Two yeah. outs. Right down by where the signature is on, yep. the, on the baseball bat. Not the sweet spot. Honors at the corners for Cruz. Struck out in a 3-2 pitch. Fly to center. Check swing. Strike one. He's with a run in the second, third, and fifth. There's two runs in the third and one here in the fifth. Little tiger there. Up near the left field foul pole. On one to Nelly. It's great to see the reaction of Nelson's teammates last night for home run number 300. This is the guy that just has so much respect in that locker room mm -hmm. over there. Been playing kind of on a gimpy leg for quite a while. Still able to get it done though. One one. Oh, two strikes. Only with 300 career home runs, 103 here with the Mariners. Dave, I don't know how you feel about this, but you know there, there's kind of a, some thought in the game nowadays that you know RBIs don't really have a lot of value. And you know, for me, <laughs> it's called runs, right? Hey, you, man. you need runs to win. And what Nelson Cruz can do with runners in scoring position. Last night he was three for three. There is a special talent and a special ability to get it done when that happens and, and I'll give you a reason why 
as a catcher, as soon as a runner is in scoring position, you start changing the way you call your yeah, the game. Absolutely. You're a little bit more careful. Somebody like Nelson Cruz, I don't want to give him something to, to hit, and yet he still has the ability to get it done. All in two strikes, two on. Here are your Major League Baseball leaders entering today. Mr. Cruz tied with Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt, Marcelo Zuna, and Jake Lamb. Lamb being back healthy, the combo here with uh, Goldie. Yeah, Jake Lamb, a local product here, University of Washington. Two and two here to Nelson Cruz. Center field turns around the center fielder Brugman. He makes a nice adjustment. Well done by Jacob Brugman. Inning gets started with Gerard Dyson hitting his fifth home run. A blast for the little guy to tie it at 3 3. Before we shut it down for the All Star break, this copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Dave Sims and Dave Valley with you here tonight. Lovely Saturday evening. Come back tomorrow afternoon, 110 first pitch on the air, 1230 here in Root Sports. Andrew Moore about to start. This sixth inning, he's got Bruce Maxwell, Matt Chapman, and Jacob Brugman. Three runs on five hits for the A's. One error. Three runs, six hits. No errors for the Mariners. Swing and a miss. One one. Good changeup right there. From Andrew Moore. Moore now with 82 pitches on the evening. Second inning RBI single. He gave up a home run to Alonzo in the third, a home run to Simeon as Segura plays that in the seat of his pants. And same base umpire said he caught it cleanly, so a line drive out. This play. Let's take a look here because it did look like it. It bounced. No, he, he did get it. He did get good a good play. Call. Mark Carlson, second base umpire. That's a tough call for him on the other side. He must yep. have had a, a good view yeah. of that ball going in the glove. That works. Good job on the catch, good job on the call. First pitch strike to Matt Chapman. Struck out in an 0 2 pitch, walked on a 3 2 pitch. Tell you what, Andrew Moore. It's like a metronome out there. One, two, three, go. One, I mean, it's just remarkable. Don't you like it? 
I love it. I, I love to spread when, the word when you're catching and your pitcher wants wants to go. He wants to get the sign. Let's go. Let's, let's start the action. I guarantee you the fielders like it because it keeps them on their toes. Sure. Fourth fastest worker among active starters already. Tied with Jason Vargas. Line drive left field. Gamble. Oh, off his glove. Matt Chapman. Ball must have had some tail out there. Be a double. Second double for Chapman this season. This ball looks like it's got a little bit of carry to it. Chapman puts a charge into it as Gamble's going over to his yeah, right. It, was, it took it. He was kind of running straight across to the foul line. This ball ended up having a little bit more carry than he anticipated. Not a good route efficiency on that one. Right. Seager going to take a look. Might come back to him. And he makes the play. There we go. They hung with it, and there was not a Bartman moment over there. Yeah, that's going to be a, that'll be next year's bobblehead right there. Kyle reaching into the stands <laughs> for the backhand. Yeah, he's got to take some popcorn next time. <laughs> great job of finding the wall, knowing where you are, and great job by the fans of staying away and letting him catch this baseball. Thank you. Well done on both sides of that wall over there. Reminds me of uh, when Iwakuma threw the no-no against Baltimore. Ball went up in the air, looked like uh, like that, and it looked like it might not come back, but it did. He stayed with it, made that really fine catch. Here's Rajay Davis. He hit a ball really hard, two out, runners at first and second, fourth inning, and was headed for the right field corner. And a lovely balletic catch by Mitch Hanniger saved disaster for the Mariners. James Pazos, power left hander, starting to heat up. 1 0. And Rajay goes opposite field. Again, this time here's Hanniger. Much easier play this time. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. When we come back, Kyle Seeger's going to lead things off. 3 3 ball game. Safe Goldfield, beautiful night for baseball. Kyle Seeger bobblehead night, good crowd on hand. Saturday, July 22nd. Salute to Native American night when the Mariners meet the Yankees at 610. Mariners and AQC will celebrate the vibrant Native American culture in our region. In addition, the first 10,000 fans, 21 and over, going to take home a Mariners fedora. Tickets at Mariners.com. Kyle Seeger leads off. Ball one. Kyle with a base hit. 
to right. And then drove one to the 380 side. And right center field in the fourth. It was tracked down by Matt Joyce. Two and oh, 36 year old Chris Smith. First big league start. On the mound for the Athletics. Two games against the Mariners last year in relief. 14 years he spent in the minor leagues. Here he is again. He was with Boston in 08, Milwaukee in 9 and 10. Two one pitch. Cal going to work here three and one. Seeger, Valencia, and Hanniger. The Mariners here in the sixth. Smith now with 83 pitches on the evening. Full count to Kyle. Well, you really pull the string on that one. That pitch at 74 it's miles an hour. Wow. Three defenders right side of the infield. For the Athletics. Three two to Seeger. Hit it off the fist. Third baseman. Chapman. Shown some good ability here tonight. One down. There's Danny Valencia. Go for two tonight. Three three ball game A's run in the second run in the third so it's two nothing going to the home third and just get RBIs but from Segura and Gamble to tie it. Alonzo homers in the fifth. Four, three two lead and the Mariners come right back a home run by Dyson. To Valencia. And field straight up for Danny. 1 1. Inside. Ball 2. Looks like Ryan Masson up. Right hander down in the Oakland A's bullpen. 2 1. Way outside. Three balls, one strike. What's he throw him here? I think he's going to come after him with a little fastball outer half. And he pounds it down to the third baseman Chapman. Two away. See what Felix can do tomorrow. CenturyLink brings us what's next. He goes against young Daniel Gossett. Felix, as you know, through the course of his career, has fared very well against the Athletics. 23 and 9 is career mark. Mariners could use. A big win out of him tomorrow. Be his ninth start of the season. And a girl for two. Strike one. And hopefully that game tomorrow would be for a series win. Here, here. Oh, and two to Mitch. Mariners won last night, seven to two. A seven four in the open. The O two pitch <laughs> takes him with ball one.
Two out, nobody on. Pitch to Met Mitch Hanniger outside, two and two. One of the things that has impressed me about Mitch Hanniger from the very start of the season was his approach up at the plate. Not trying to do too much, hitting the ball where it was pitched. He's shown the ability to hit the ball out to right field, center, and left. Not afraid to take his walks as well. Discerning eye right there, three and two. It's a good at bat right here. Found himself in an 0 2 hole. Worked himself back into a good hitter's count at three and two. Three two. And strike three calls. It's not what he was looking for. Mariners go one, two, three, and a six. Of course, still tied at three. Angie Bentink here at the Ford Sports Desk and tonight it was Kyle Seeger bobblehead giveaway night and uh, man fans were lined up early to get their hands on that but Karen Rogers didn't have to worry about that because Karen Rogers here from Issaquah is awarded this bobblehead as part of our sweepstakes. She is our sweepstakes winner so congratulations to Karen Rogers for that. All right, so uh, Andrew Moore, his night is over. There will be no more Moore, if you will. He goes uh, six innings, allows just the six hits, uh, three runs. They were earned. He hit 90 pitches, had a couple strikeouts. What's this? He walked a couple of batters? Say it isn't so. Uh, Dave Valley uh, finishes off our Beacon Plumbing call to the bullpen. Dave. Thanks, Ange. Call to the bullpen. James Pazos taking over for Andrew Moore. He's appeared in 34 ball games with a 3.15 ERA, 40, 43 strikeouts, go along with 15 walks. Opponents hitting only 217 off the hard throw in left hander. James looking for a big bounce back. Three nights ago, got roughed up by the Kansas City Royals. Matt Joyce. And James delivers a first pitch strike in that game against Kansas City three days ago. A third of an inning, two hits, three runs, one earned, a walk, and he gave up a home run. 22 pitches, 13 for strikes. Joyce over for three. Two flat balls and a foul out. Steve Ciszek heating up. Steve came on a couple outs last night. Closed out the game. The double play in a line out.
Here's the one two. Tap foul. James has got a good fastball here tonight. That last pitch at 96 miles an hour. 26 years old out of Gilbert, Arizona. Originally drafted by the Rays, 40th round in 09. Then 13th round by the Yankees in 2013 from the University of San Diego. One two pitch. Breaking ball. Seager will take a look at it. And not gonna happen. Cal had a long way to go. As they had the shift on Kyle playing right around shortstop. Goes into a little safety slide right here. Smart play by Kyle Seeger. Lefty's hitting 200 against Pazos. One two pitch. He broke him back. Easy play for Gene Segura. One away. Are you the ultimate Northwest fan in the state of Oregon? Then Root Sports is looking for you throughout the month of July. Submit a photo and story on our website at rootsportscom slash ultimate dash fan. And you can win a VIP trip for two to Seattle for the Mariners ultimate weekend. That event coming up in September. Personalized jersey and more. Marcus Simeon homered 2 1 pitch back in a fifth. No doubt about her. Left field. Strike one. First time Simeon going against Pazos. Oh, and two. Right handers against Pazos this season. Hitting at 226. The 0 2 to Simeon. Swing and a miss struck him out. Two down. Good pitch running away. Good pitch and a good location right there just off the outside part of the plate. Down to Alonzo. Fly to left, home to right, pop up to Segura. Cano going out short right field. Alonzo again, it likes to attack on the first pitch. First pitch from Pazos, and he offers it, fouls it away. First time All Star, Yonder Alonso. Cano plays it nicely out in the grass. James Pazzo is very effective. A one, two, three, seventh. Gorgeous night here in Seattle. Still tied at three.
Buddy, Angie Mentig back here at the Ford Sports Desk. We are stretching here in the seventh inning. Now, last night, Rich Amaral threw out the first pitch. Tonight, uh, nobody that played for the Mariners, not yet anyway, but a special group of high school students here in attendance, and one of them, Luke, threw out the first pitch. There's 600 of them total. These high school students just returned from New Orleans. They were there rebuilding homes for folks along the Gulf Coast. Shirts Across America is a nonprofit that got started after Hurricane in Katrina and they have worked on more than 150 homes and funded fully funded 15 of them pretty impressive group of students right there and again had an opportunity to shake Luke's hand earlier tonight who threw out the first pitch he said he was he was pretty nervous but we all know what that's like guys back to you that's beautiful work I tell you I was after that hurricane it was a hurricane uh, Katrina there's Dyson looking to pitch outside I know Angie's Th talking about being nervous. I, I doubt if she would be nervous. No, she wouldn't be nervous. But going down to New Orleans not long after Katrina, I was with the late great Danny Green. We were doing a football game down there, the first game at the Superdome after. And the damage down there was unbelievable. You can't say enough good things about those folks joining in to help rebuild homes down there in New Orleans. And uh, we tip the cap. That's beautiful. Dyson's had a fine, fine ball game as he faces the veteran Ryan Matson. Matson pitching in his 36th game, a 1 and 4 record, a 2 3 4 ERA. Did that hit him? Yes, it, it did. Like he got him. Once again, working on that back foot of his, Dyson gets hit for the 10th time this season. Most on the ball club. And now he is second to Martin Maldonado in the American League. Maldonado's been hit 11 times. This is a big curveball right there. Looks like he might have came up and hit him in the left shin. Ball had some bite to it. So the go-ahead runs aboard for the Mariners. That's in the veteran right-hander. Fastball, curveball, and a change. First pitch strike to Zanino, lined out to left and struck out. Dyson with a very conservative lead over there over at first base. Matson is pretty quick to home plate. Trying to change up his timing to throw off the timing of Gerard Dyson over at first. Heck of a comeback from Tommy John surgery for Ryan Matson. 0 2 pitch. Strike three called. And you know, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts. Sure, you can buy some peanuts and Cracker Jacks, but what else could you buy with a Washington's lottery win? Play today. Sean Doolittle, always tough on the Mariners, hard throwing left hander. He's battled back from multiple injuries over the course of his career. Ryan Matson last year was walked off by Martin, and here he gets a double play. He shut down the Mariners in the seventh. 3 3 ball game.
is brought to you by Jack in the Box. Come try the sweet or spicy barbecue bacon cheeseburger combo for $4.99, limited time only. By BNSF Railway, sponsor of the BNSF Blast. By Money Tree, proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. And by CenturyLink, connecting you to the power of the digital world as we bring you back to Crater Lake Volcano. Blew up about 8,000 years ago, creating this formation. And if you can go out, we're told out in eastern Washington, dig down a little bit, you can still see ash remnants from that explosion a long time ago. Nick Vincent taking over on the mound for the Mariners. Mariners going down to their bullpen again as Vincent takes over. Ryan Healy's going to be his first batter. Healy tonight is one for two with a run scored and was hit by a pitch. Nick Vincent two and one with a 2.14 ERA. 25 strikeouts only six walks. A nice job so far for the Mariners this season. And more appearances than anybody last year. And they're in the pitching staff. One one to Ryan Haley. Big home run power. He's got 19. A's have hit two home runs tonight. Alonzo his 20th. Simeon his first. Up the middle, but Cano's waiting for it. That might have got a piece of Nick Vincent. This thing he did was try to get out of the way. Ball hit right back through the middle. Oh. Looks like he was able to yep. get up out of the way. Good feet. A lot of that energy taken away by the, the mound right there. Brings up Jed Lowry. Soccer match breaking out here. <laughs> Around the first base side up in the 300 level. Base hit, Lowry. And Robbie will just hold on. Base hit there. With all the shifts out there, you, stand, you end up finding yourself in some very peculiar situ also, locations out there on the diamond. Robbie Cano take catching that ground ball in short right center field. One out one on brings up Bruce Maxwell. This kid's got some pop. Maxwell 0 for 1 against Nick Vincent. Segura and Cano set for two up the middle. Little cutter, a little bit too far in off the plate, trying to tie up Maxwell. Lefty's hitting 229 off of Nick Vincent. Bug out. Nick Vincent's really been. Something else here at home in 19 previous games, a 169 batting average against here at Safeco Field. It's been a workhorse here as for the Mariners as well. 35 games so far. This is game number 36 for, for Nick Vincent. See why Scott Service runs him out there as often as he can. The 
nice stop by Mike. Two and one. For Nick, a one and zero record here at home. 18 innings. One walk, 20 strikeouts. Not giving up a run. Trying to get a double play here. Swing and a foul tip. Two and two. Vince in his fourth appearance here in the month of July. Oh, he had him. Just enough to play. Another good cutter. It's a pitch that he has very good command over. Not leaving it out over on the plate too often. Big pitch here. Three and two here to Bruce Maxwell. He is catcher. Runner at first. And now Vincent steps off. Third time of the big club here for Maxwell. And back and forth between Oakland and Nashville. Three two pitch runner goes and a throw down to second. And it's ball four. So two on, one out. Baseball's two biggest events of the summer, back to back. Action begins at the T-Mobile Home Run Derby Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific. And catch baseball's biggest stars at the 88th MLB All-Star Game, presented by MasterCard on Tuesday. Coverage begins at 4.30 Pacific. Runners at first and second. One out. And the hitter's third baseman, Matt Chapman. First pitch from Vincent. And it's outside ball one. So many young players. Nick getting his first look at some of these guys. Chapman, one of them. Awfully good at home. 19 games, 1 0 record, and a 0 ERA. Trying to keep that record intact here. 1 0 pitch. 1 1. In scoring position this year, hitting at 226. 21 homers. Good crowd on hand here at Safeco Field for Kyle Seeger bobblehead night, 28,694. At hand, Vincent trying to get out of a sticky situation here in the eighth. Oof. Two and one. Could have been right there. Good pitch located right at the bottom of the strike zone. Center fielder Jacob Bruntman's on deck. Lowry, the runner at second, Bruce Maxwell. He's at first. And a 3 1 pitch here. Back with a strike. Big pitch right here. Runners probably will be in motion. Lowry's got good speed at second. 3 2 pitch. Foul off. Runners will hold him. Could have had it. Yeah.
Some Oakland fans below us to our right. Cheering you're here. Yeah. Pooted down by Mariner fans. Here's a 3 2 pitch from Benson. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Two down. Good fastball with some extra life right at the top of the strike zone. Chapman unable to lay off of this pitch, and well, that's a tough pitch to get on top of. As it's coming in at 93 miles an hour. Uh oh, dangerous hitter coming up here. Chris Davis, who's fourth in the American League in home runs with 24. Chris Davis went 0 for 2 last night. The opener on Thursday, 1 for 3 of a big three run homer in the fifth. You're not the real Chris, uh, Chris Davis. Davis, 1 for 3 against Nick Vincent. Big spot in the ball game here. First pitch. Ball one. Starts him off with that cutter on the outer half of the plate. You're Chris Davis does not cheat himself when he is up there swinging. He's got three pinch hit home runs on the career. He's also struck out 115 times second in the American League. 2 and 0. Mark Zipchinski, this one batter last night through one pitch, gave up a single. Nick behind here to Davis 2 0. Two balls, one strike. Here's a 2 1. 2 2. Chris Davis last year, 42 home runs tied with Encarnacion and Dozier. A third place behind Trumbo and Nelson Cruz. Gotta be careful. And he takes a big rip at that pitch right there. Looked like a little bit of a backup cutter. Ball never really did move away from Davis. Stayed right on the inside corner. Nick Vincent ready. Two balls, two strikes, two out, two on. Swing and a miss. He got him. Nick Vincent, a tremendous escape here in the eighth inning. Two strikeouts with a couple of men aboard. And he comes up big. He's still yet to give up a run here at home. Ben Gamble coming up, followed by Robinson Cano and Nelson Cruz with a chance to take the lead in the home eighth.
Brent Tink here at the Ford Sports Desk. Wondering where you are rooting on the Mariners tonight? Use the hashtag where I root presented by Alaska Airlines. And Kim, getting him started young. There's no such thing as too young, Kim. I just want you to know that. Uh, thanks for sending that photo in. And then uh, Nate and Dave are actually at Progressive Field representing the Mariners. And not only that, they got the Ken Griffey Jr. jersey on. The hashtag to use is where I root presented by Alaska Airlines. Now, uh, Christy has been at Felix's perfect game and Iwakuma's no hitter together. So when those two get together, good things happen. Can't wait to see what tonight brings. I cannot wait as well. We just uh, maybe accept Sean Doolittle getting lit up for a few runs and the Mariners winning. Guys? <laughs> All right, Angie, thank you very much. He's been tough on the Mariners over the years, Sean Doolittle. Ben Gamble is his first hitter. Gamble tonight is one for two with an RBI. Chris Davis stays in the game in left field. Rajay Davis moves from left field to center field with Jacob Brugman out of the game. Ben Gamble getting his first look at Sean Doolittle. Doolittle in his 18 innings this year has 27 strikeouts and just two bases on balls. Doolittle's been in 39 games against the Mariners. They're hitting just a buck 55 against them. Edwin Diaz starting to heat up. Two and one. Come on. Sean Doolittle, second man out of the pen here. Bob Melvin's ball club. Two two pitch. And he did go. One out. Let's take a look at our Delta Airlines. Keep climbing standings. And in the wild card, Texas just came away a winner, so a game under 500. The Rangers beat the Angels tonight. Mariners would love to get this one. Kansas City beaten late by the Dodgers in L.A. Former Mariner Brendan Morrow pitching for L.A. now. Saw him earlier in the evening. Here's Robinson Cano. Cano had a tough time against Doolittle, two for 19. And that Dodger win, played Bellinger hit another home run to win it. Good count here for Robbie, two and zero. Oh. You know, tonight is struck out looking. Bounced into a double play and fly to right. Three runs on seven hits and error for the Athletics. Three runs, six hits. No errors for the Mariners. No scoring since the fifth inning. Swing and a miss, one after him. I was wondering if there's oh. a French invasion tonight. <laughs> well, Sam, That's an interesting look at a, at a ball game. Mm -hmm. For a second, I thought it was funny glasses night right there. <laughs> I think we did, might have done that one already. Although it worked well the first time, why not redo it? Two one pitch here to Cano. Three and one. You got Nelson Cruz on deck. Doolittle just trying to pick that outside corner on Robbie Cano. Not getting any of those calls. Robbie's worked his count to a good hitter's count. Three and one. Doolittle against the Mariners. Two and one in 39 games. 40 in a third innings. 43 strikeouts. Three one. Going deep, but on the track to make the play is Rajay Davis. Two outs. Yes. 
Garage runs that one down. It'll bring up Nelson Cruz. And Nelly, they too has struggled against Doolittle. One for ten. That one was a home run. Third time Doolittle facing the Mariners this year. First two times, just an inning and a third, one strikeout. If Nelly can launch one here, ball one. Yesterday, the Mariners shook some things up. They didn't take batting practice. Everybody had the same walk up song, which was the same music that Gene Segura uses on a nightly basis. And Nelly Cruz, after the game, said by about the fourth inning, he was kind of <laughs> tired of it. In fact, one of the time he, he, he got tricked because he thought he was supposed to be up because he heard the music. Yeah. He's like, oh, I got to get ready. And he's like, oh, no, wait, they're playing that music for everybody. 2 <laughs> 0. I don't know, three for four and five ribbies. I'd say play it again, Sam. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Three hundred home runs from Nelson Cruz. Two one to Nelly. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here at the bottom of the eighth. Pitch is thrown two and two versus all batters. Look at that, 96.3%. Time it up, big fella. He had a pretty good swing at that last fastball. Two two. Up high. I think with Kyle Seeger, the left hander on deck, you're not going to see Doolittle give him much to hit right here. 3 2 pitch to Cruz. Off the fist. You have to start getting exit velocity on his foul balls because the these babies are coming back up this way. Not near us, but close enough that you can sort of hear a glove. it. Uh, yeah, I want a glove. I hear that. <laughs> Do not sacrifice any fingers. Three runs, seven hits, an error for Oakland. 3 6 0 for the Mariners. 3 2 pitch here to Nelly. Two out. Nobody on. Rifle foul. Look out. Dodger win by the way, Cleve Bellinger's 25th home run, 50th RBI. He'll be in the home run derby. Here's a 3 2 to Cruz. Popped it up and it will be out of play. Nelly got the hit out on that pitch. You don't typically see a foul ball that goes straight up in the air mm -hmm. from a right hander. Go behind him, mm -hmm. behind the third base dugout, like that one just did. Ninth pitch of the at bat. Three two. Bad is play. Here comes Alonzo. Ninth inning coming up. The Mariners go one, two, three in the eighth.
ball game here at Safeco Field. Third game of a four game set before we break for the All Star festivities. Gerard Dyson, as we take a look at our Columbia Bank difference in the game, Val, this was impressive. Yeah, he just jumps all over this fastball from Smith. Quickly deposits it out there in the seats. That was a no doubter from Gerard Dyson. Dyson center field today. Also has a double and was hit by a pitch, so it's two for two. Edwin Diaz, Mariner closer, first pitch to Rajay Davis, strike one. And he Diaz, 33 appearances, a two and three record. He's got 13 saves out of 16 opportunities with an ERA of 3.48. That first pitch, he just dotted that down and away corner on Rajay Davis. Swing and a miss. Rajay Davis 0 for 1 against Edwin Diaz. One two pitch. Gonna have to hurry. Safe. Thirty six sure. years old, he can still fly. He got out a little bit out in front, which gets your momentum moving towards first base. Kyle Seeger does a nice job of getting it and getting rid of it. Looks like that left foot gets on the bag before it hits the glove of Valencia. Infield base hit for a dangerous base stealer. Good call by the first base umpire. Fielding Colbreth down there. Ajay Davis, 14 out of 18 in base stealing. Tied for ninth in the American League with Merrifield of Kansas City. And he's going to have to keep an eye on him over there. He may not wait around too long in terms of taking off. Here comes Mel Stoudemire Jr. and Mike Zanino. Three consecutive throwers. My, my guess is Mel's talking to him. Hey, don't focus too much on the guy on first base. Get the hitter. Quick message. You want your pitcher too distracted because of the base runners. Not at all. It's Matt Joyce. Pitch out, nothing done. Throw over. Diaz last time he was on the mound. Wednesday inning in the third one hit two strikeouts and the extra inning lost nine six to Kansas City. Runner go no he doesn't he held up oh man what a fake. <laughs> Rajay Davis took a good step and a half a power move too. Yeah I'm not sure if he might have slipped right there because it looked like he was had a very aggressive first movement towards second base. It looks like that right foot might have gave way. Just a little bit. Diaz throws over, trying to keep him close. It's the third appearance here in the early going this month of July for Diaz. Three three ball game top nine. 
He's leaning. Oh, he was leaning. He was going, no question about that one. Had a pretty aggressive lead over there at first base. And he's trying to get a money bag here. Late game situation and everybody and the brother knows you want to go. He slips. He started off that time. Looked like he slipped again. This time he got maybe a quarter of the way. Pitch was fouled off. I was looking to see if there's any dirt underneath caught in between his cleats. Again, those guys that with great speed, they, they can tell if their push off is kind of giving way or they're getting good traction out there. Matt Joyce, the hitter, the one two pitch. Davis holds pitch up high. Two balls, two strikes. And he's calling another pitch out right there. Two and two. Chases him back again. Is ready 2 2 pitch. Runner goes for good this time and on the transfers. And you know, can't complete it. Stolen base and a strikeout for Davis is 15th strikeout. Joyce, check that. Davis is 15th stolen base. Joyce strikes out. And there's one away. Davis gets a great jump right there. Eddie Diaz with that high leg kick. This time, no slippage on that first step. Davis slides safely into second base. Davis is where he wants to be. Here's Marcus Simeon. Up and in. Simeon 0 for 1 against Diaz. Under Alonzo's on deck. 1 0 pitch. Robbie Cano trying to keep Rajay Davis at bay over at second base. One one pitch. Nice slider. All in two strikes to Marcus Simeon. He struck out. Grounded out. Home and he struck out again. Ground into it. 28,694. And the one two pitch. Off the plate for ball two. Diaz calling Mike Zanino out there. I guess it has something to do with signs or changing of the signs. Two two pitch runner goes got a great break swung on it and hit foul. What a break Rajay Davis had. And one of the things Eddie Diaz is going to need to be concerned about the high leg kick. Rajay Davis had that base stolen easily mm -hmm. right there. Even with a shortened lead out there because Cano was holding him on. That big high leg kick with somebody with that good of speed you're not going to get him at third base probably just going to stand right there on the bag two balls two strikes as we play here in the ninth he has ready to two to Marcus Simeon I have no problem here. Good strong throw back to the cutoff man for out number two. And Yandra Alonzo coming up. Getting ready. 
for 10 can't miss games coming up at safe Coat field the Mariners host the Yankees for four games starting July 20 then take on the Red Sox July 24th through the 26th and then finally cap off this epic homestand weekend series against the Mets July 28 29 and 30 be there by picking up your tickets right now at Mariners.com. And they wanted no part of Alonzo to put him on to get to the right hander Ryan Healy. So here we go. Healy, Healy just... one for five against Diaz. Strike one. Inning started with Rajay Davis infield hit stole second as Matt Joyce was striking out Simeon fly to left and intentional walk to Alonzo Diaz closing in on getting out of this jam here 0 and 2. Good fastball in on the hands of Healy. 99 miles an hour. Eddie Diaz way ahead right here, 0 and 2. Here's Hill 2. To the gap, right center field, all kinds of trouble. Bob Hop into and out of the stands of their ground roll double. On an 0 2 pitch, Oakland has the lead 4 3. RBI for Healy is 52nd. Is 19th double second hit tonight. Healy right here gets the pitch up out over the plate. Mistake by Eddie Diaz with the count 0 and 2. Healy gets a pitch that he can drive off the gap in right center field. That for sure he might try to bury something. Just Lowry ball one. Two out, ground rule double. RBI for Ryan Healy. 1 0 to Lowry. Up high. Lowry with an infield hit. Last time up, 1 for 4. Two zero count. Rip foul. Two and one. Casilla getting loose down the Oakland A bullpen. Second time he's with the Athletics. Came over from the Giants. He did go, so see if he brought her two balls, two strikes. Cano out of short right field. Playing up the middle, Segura pitch. Pulled fair. Danny Valencia will take it right to the bag. Work to do for the Mariners. As Ryan Healy puts the A's in front with a ground rule RBI double coming up. Kyle Seeger, Danny Valencia, and Mitch Hanniger. Mariners need some runs. They're down 4 3.
Well, the Mariner fans that want to see at least one here in the bottom of the ninth inning to keep this thing going. Coming up on Mariner's Post Game, presented by Alaska Airlines, uh, we will head inside the clubhouse. This one here from the players themselves, Seeger and Valencia, getting set to come to the plate here. We'll also let you know what's going on around the rest of the division and get you set for tomorrow, the final game before the All Star break. It's all coming up on Mariner's Post Game, presented by Alaska Airlines, guys. All right, Angie, thank you very much. Ryan Healy with the go-ahead RBI. Round rule double brings on veteran Santiago Casilla. Casilla with 14 saves for the A's, 29 strikeouts and 12 walks. Opponents are ERA at 394 and opponents hitting 256, giving up three home runs this season. Let's see if the Mariners can get it done here against Casilla. He's going to turn 37 years old later on this month on July 25th. He's been with the Giants dating back to 2010, so he's got his World Series rings. He was with Oakland from 2004 to 2009. Ball one, Kyle Seeger, his first batter. Seeger seeing him for the first time. 19 previous games against the Mariners, Casilla 0 and 1 with a 3.93 ERA. And Seeger's got a 2 0 count. Foul today with a base hit to right. Sent one near the 380 sign and right center field. Matt Joyce ran it down and a ground out the third. Two out of Kyle. Left fielder Chris Davis with room. Kyle one for four tonight. He's going to bring up Danny Valencia, who is one for three against Casilla. Over three night for his uh, for Valencia. Foul off his foot. Fifth game for Casilla against the Mariners this season. 0 0 record, 4 9 1 ERA. Casilla features a little two seamer. That, that last pitch ran in on the hands of Valencia. Slider and a changeup. Not too overpowering, 93, 94 miles an hour. When we first saw him, he was way up there in the 90s. Ten years ago, that one topped out at 97 right there. Not bad. Still got a little left in the tank. World Series wins with the Giants, 10, 12, and 14. Three World Series rings. Four runs, eight hits, one error. Four Oakland, three runs, six hits for the Mariners. 1 1 here to Danny. Outfield deep. Yes. Able to hold up. They check down at first. Phil Calbert says he's okay. Two balls, one strike. Diaz was ahead in the count to Ryan Healy. Healy hit a pitch up and away and bounced it into the right center field seats, picked up an RBI, and that's where we are. Four three, bottom nine. Two and two.
Danny likes the fastball. See if she can make a mistake with one, leave one up for him. Looks like they're gonna go fastball away. Two two pitch. Say the wheels are turning here. What's he gonna throw me? What do I throw him? What can I beat him with? What can I beat him with? Two-two pitch. And for Valencia, he's just looking to battle, stay in the game, trying to find a way to get on base. Is a situation where you're just looking to put the ball in play, you trying bet. to put the barrel on the bat, outfield, on the ball. Outfield deep, infield deep, 2 2 pitch. Full count. Mitch Hanniger's on deck. 0 for 3 night for him. I don't think it's Danny ought to give Mitch a chance to gap one. Little bloop and a bomb. Absolutely. That's my wish. I'm going to use it up right now. <laughs> Three and two. Pitch to Valencia. Up close, two down. Sweeping, breaking ball. This ball starts on the outer half of the plate and just dives away. Valencia. This is that one by quite a bit. So Mitch Hanniger. Last hope for the Mariners, 0 for 2 against Casilla. Swing and a miss. Good aggressive swing by Hanniger. Looking for a fastball, got it. Again, outfield deep, infield deep. There's the one. That's hit to center field. It's hit deep and off the glove of center fielder Rose Davis. There's still life. Tying run at second base. Mitch Hanniger doesn't hold back right here. Casilla comes after him with a fastball up out over the plate. And he just squares it up. For a second, it looked like Rajay Davis had a beat on it, and then didn't. And then all of a sudden, he was able to get his glove on this ball just off the tip of the glove. Mariners stay alive with a double by Hanniger. Two out double. Still got a chance. Scott Emerson, the pitching coach, out to speak with Casilla. There's a break. Let's capitalize. Oh, that was a heck, heck of a swing. On quality fastball. Good night for Dyson. A double, a hard hit double back in the third down the line, and then a home run in the fifth. Yeah, that was a icing on the cake right there for Dyson. Got that fastball and just puts a charge into it. Now he's looking to tie it up right here for the Mariners. He's one for one against Santiago Casilla. Opportunity right here, knocking for the Mariners. Hanniger's got good speed at second pitch. Ball one. You see, not happy with that call, letting CB Buckner know. A 
Here's the 1 0. Live ball. Davis is there. Game over. A's win it 4 3 with a run in the ninth. And that's a heartbreaker for the Mariners who drop the 42 and 47. And the A's go to 40 and 49. That's a tough one, Dave. Yeah, you know, Andrew Moore gave a nice performance here tonight. He went six innings, six hits, three earned runs. But unfortunately, the bullpen unable to hold it as Eddie Diaz gives up the go ahead run in the top of the ninth inning. That he does. For Dave Valley and Dave Sims, Mariners Post Game presented by Alaska Airlines starts right now with Brad and Bill. Fellas. All right, thank you, gentlemen. A's take this one again, four to three, a night after the Mariners break their eight-game home losing streak. They